Hello, I'm Joanna Swinton and one of the designers at craftyprint.com. I want to show you today how I actually put together my satchel design. These are gorgeous designs. This is the Radiant Flower one, which is on 533930 underscore 470. All the satchels have inside another card. That's the gift tag itself. These are great for putting things like iTunes gifts cards in, um, jewellery, anything like that. And the lovely things wrapped up in um, tissue paper to go inside them. On the front of all of these, this is the Travellers one at 534080. Um, on the front of them, I've put little diamantes. Um, you don't have to put little dot ones. You can put flower ones. You could use um, the pearl shaped ones. You could even put on proper brads if you've got small brads or you could use um, eyelets or anything like that. Now my boxes, they actually come nicely done on the back as well. This is the music one which I particularly liked and that one's number 535018 um, and I like that one because of the colours really. Most of them also come as um, cutting files as well for those of you with cutting files machines. Once I've actually cut everything out, every fold on these bags, except for one, are mountain folds. And the only one that's not a mountain fold is the one that goes inside the card. This is the insert to the card, so obviously it's not going to be a mountain fold. It is the only one. So start off by cutting it out. I'm doing all my folding. And then I need to stick it together. First thing that we're going to do is to stick the flaps under. Normally I use a wet glue because wet glue I think tends to hold it better. But obviously when I'm showing you how to do it I can't just sit here waiting for wet glue to dry. Okay. So that's the beginning of it. Now the next bit, if you just sit there and curl it over, you can have a look. This is the area that we want to curl. So we're going to just curl this bit like this. Just curl it over. Don't put a fold in it. Just curl it so that it will nicely just fold over. Otherwise, you're going to have it sticking up like this. And that's not how the satchel sits. So fold it over quite nicely, just like that. No fold, no um, folding with proper folds. Put the sides on once we've done that. I'm never very good with double sided sticky tape. Since I last did. Um, a cup TV. We've had a new member of the family, and here she is. This is Abby, who, of course, has just jumped off. She would do. Abby's our new puppy. She's a, a real darling. Okay, so now it should look like that. The next thing to do is this bit. Now I've glued the underneath the little flaps there on this bit because I needed it to be nice and stable for what I was going to show you next. On each side of the three sides just dimple it between your fingers making sure that the top bit is coming over so it looks like that. Same on this side, just pulling the top bit over like that and dimple this side too. 
just like that okay so now you've got these sticky out end bits and they don't look very good just push your nail in like that and push it down so i'll show you again push your nail in so as it looks like that and push it down so effectively you're tucking it in okay now i've made loads of these satchels just lately when we when designers are designing something from scratch like this it can take a while to get the design perfectly right so sometimes we spend a lot of time making the same design over and over and just changing and tweaking it so i have made a lot of these so know roughly the best way to actually make them make sure this is nice and central nice and straight and pop it on so it's about that far away from the bottom about what would i say about half a centimeter okay stick that side on and please there we go This one is um, Morning Glory. I haven't got it on the system yet, but I will be putting it on the system today. I have to wait till I've got a photograph before I put it on the system. And it is absolutely gorgeous, this one. It's, I have to say, it's just about my favourite. Right then. We now need to make the side pieces. So you will have your single square and your long piece like this. That, that's my square. That one was broken. Put it in. Glue it together so as it looks like this. And then we need to stick this onto the side the strap on the side you will see two little dots I put them there deliberately in case you wanted to use brads it's you know shows you where to put them and you'll find little dots on here as well that will tally up I think brads myself I'm a bit worried about them catching people's fingers that's why I haven't used brads but it's up to you you could use loads of other things can't we okay so the side piece comes on like this and then your strap goes in there hold it over and stick it on I'm going to take that off for now because it'll just get in my way right so we need the front buckles doing now here's a front buckle um sure i've done one have put one here it is right here's a buckle that i've actually put the slip in it's the little slip hold it in half and put it through the buckle the center of the buckle like that and glue it together so here's one i did earlier okay so my buckle it's got to go on the bottom of the front of the bag i probably will go around and uh, wet glue this later it's just for speed that i'm using double-sided sticky tape Okay, so the buckles 
they go on the bottom of the bag leaving just a little bit of space there just so as it's not on the very very edge so you put one on each side and then you have your strap as all satchels do I tried to make this look like a very traditional satchel they're all the rage at the moment in the shops I remember when I was at school I had a satchel it's going back some and um, this looks just like the satchel I had except mine was dull and brown right so once you've actually got your pieces together just line them up, tally them up together there like that so that it fits nicely through the buckle and stick it on however you want to. You could use brads like I say, you could use little diamantes, just about anything you can think of. Okay, so that goes in there. On the top, we also need our sentiment now I found that you put your sentiment in here now it's a lot easier than trying to slip it into the thing later it's nice and central hope it stays like that Okay, in the interest of time, I'm sure you can imagine that that actually gets stuck onto there, like that. So that's the, the satchel finished. Then on just about all of the um, little gift cards that go inside the satchel, there is a bit of 3D, just to give it that extra little bling. Okay, just to make it look that extra bit nicer and that fits very nicely inside the satchel like that now don't forget you've got to decorate your satchel as well glitter um, some of that um, glossy accents just mountains and mountains of things that you can use to actually make this look um, really, really snazzy. If you've got any questions at all concerning this actual, please feel free to email me and let me know. Or if you've got any comments or anything I can help you with. Or if there's anything that you particularly would like me to do, um, just drop me a line and I will do my best. Thank you very much for watching. That's Joanna Swinton, craftsyouprint.com. Thank you.